today I'm going to show off the best way I found to farm release tokens. This can be used to farm clothing or decorations as well as XP. To kickstart off the strategy, I'm going to show off the AMPs, which are noise reduction in my tool slot as I feel like every other one is mid. I run the smash because it just helps with speed but Invisible is a good alternative, maybe even hide and breathe, but you don't really go past that many hiding spots. And then lastly I go incognito, as your crouch speed is the same as walking speed with it on, and crouching is completely silent. No one can hear you, so... And the others, I mean, boosted could be good if you get stamina booster, so you get a double stamina bar, so you can just... Keeps printing forever. Other than that, the rest are just not that not that great. And then for rig, I use the stun rig. I feel like this one is the best in the game. No doubt about it. I've tried the blind rig, but like just placing it down seems too slow for this strategy anyway. It can be good on some trials though. Don't get me wrong. And then the other two. You don't really want to be getting hit. X-ray. You're not going to be relying on items that much. And then for the trial. I mean everyone in the Outlast community already knows. Sabotage the lockdown. It is the f one of the fastest ones. And I'm going to show like a reliable enough path I take. That usually gets all the posters. Which can give you the A plus rank, and that A plus rank gives you two items instead of just the one. So it can help you get the items faster. From people, I've heard that there's a roughly 330 items. So, based off your trials completed, you can like calculate for yourself how many times you need to do it. None of the main trials are viable for farming these tokens as. They just take too much time, whereas this one, yes, it gives you one left token each run, but you can complete in like three to four minutes solo. If you got like two people or three, it can even be two minutes that you do each time. And at that point, the loading screens take longer than the actual gameplay. Alright, so I begin with instantly opening in this room, checking for a poster on, on this wall. It won't be there this run, but there's also a document there if you guys want. I've already collected every single document. There's usually a poster there as well on that wall. And this one. So I grabbed that. In Solo you only need to collect three posters, whereas in Co-op you need multiple. Always crouch when you see a red line near the door. I'll take this little sneaky path has the enemies usually never come check here as it's so like out of the way of everything as long as you don't lead the bosses in here you should be chilling Sometimes these sections can be barricaded off. Oh my god, can't jump over because of the invite. Yeah, sometimes these are barricaded off. So you might need to take a... Okay, that's a first. That is a first. Interesting. Well, I've gotten all three posters. I would usually lift this up, but as there's the big guy here, I can even hear him spawning in. Go as far to the edge of the mines. You won't trigger him. I usually like to stick in the dark so I can just sneak around. Just like that. Okay, so he's went through there, and then as he's went off, I'm gonna just run to the 
generator. Then I can just instantly start doing it. As soon as I hear him be close or see him rushing me, I can just stun him, have the generator complete, and then escape. And for the generator, as soon as you hear the little buzzer, that's how you know you need to press that one first. Oh, lucky there. The generator makes a lot of sound when you crank it, so just be wary. And if you make it to the button fast enough, he's going to be spawning over then. Then you can crouch behind these TVs and he won't even spot you. But you've always got a stun rig. And my such. And as easy as that. Um, uh, I guess it was like a two minute trial. Three minute. Hey, it's still very fast. Even though the big guy spawned in my path for the first time ever I've noticed I was still able to do it successfully and I didn't take any damage I don't even know what sound trap I act heard but it is what it is hope you guys enjoy and good luck grinding